Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sensibility. My name is Jared Cade Al Fusan, which a lot of people talked about, but there is something about this which I think a lot of people in Australia will uh, be very interested in about lean towards that sort of spicy woodiness rather than going too aquatic. And the thing that I found out with a lot of blue fragrances and some of the fragrances that are going around nowadays is that they have a mix of geranium and tonka and I just can't stand that combo. I think it's, it's horrible. It's, it, oh. As soon as I smell that strain of fragrance, I'm turned away. It, I mean, the new Jean Paul Gaultier scandal, no way, no way. I, I can't stand it. Um, Blue de Chanel's and things like that that have that vibe going, not a fan. But this one I was very interested in for like $50. Yeah. All you magnetic cat lovers. Actually a bit like the Dior Sauvage cat the way it style. But this one comes out with a super juicy pineapple note. Very natural smelling. That has embroxen that really sort of seeps through it and then you get your sort of woodies and mellows down into your lavender and things like that. So then it comes into quite a, from a juicy pineapple into a nice fresh fougere type style. But if you live in Australia, you need to smell this. Don't need to buy it, but you need to smell it. Because I tell you what, once you get past that juicy pineapple at the front, and it starts to die down through the heart in the middle. This smells like Crown Casino. I'm not joking. Even now, because I guess that memory of Crown Casino, which you smell Crown Casino, straight away you're hitting Crown Casino. That's, that's why they do it. But you smell it in this. It's just pineapple and Crown Casino. Hopefully it doesn't make you want to gamble, but if you have the chance, Anyone that's in Australia that's watching this or knows about this fragrance, go smell it. You would, straight away you would go, this is Crown Casino. It is crazy.